Yo! What day is it? Oh my god. Leg day! Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, what's happening? Your boy Nunzi here. You guys are in for a treat. You're going to want to watch this. You're going to get a behind the scenes look at how we train the legs. <laughs> now, first things first, before every workout, we got to take the pre workout. And I've already, I already, I already got a scoop in there, you know? I don't know, man. This pre workout, though, makes me just get. <laughs> like it's, I think it it's turns C4. you into a baby. I'm like, I'm like in the gym. I'm <laughs> like, <"Yeah." laughs> I think what you mean is it gives you the tingles. Oh, man. I don't know. Was it? I think it's like the beta alanine or yeah, some shit. Yeah. It has a lot of that, and so it gives your fingers the tinglers. But it's, uh, it's a smoky one out here. How you doing, Brownie? You excited to train legs? Uh, you. Yeah. So, pre workout, 15 minutes before train. Cause you're gonna get the creepy crawlies. Yeah. The jitter blitters. That's the thing, right? When you train, if you're not like mentally in it, if you're thinking about, you know, posting on TikTok, if you're thinking about the post-workout meal, <laughs> and these are things that I always think about. <laughs> but Same. you gotta you gotta get your head in the zone. That's why like, I'll literally like meditate, I'll envision the reps, and I'll get excited for the workout, man. That's the whole key about life. If you're not excited. You gotta get excited, oh, like, you, I mean, you, you know, get excited, right? Like, fucking get the work out, man, that's dope. So the creepy crawlies are starting to hit me. <laughs> it's just, anyway, always gotta warm up the hips before a leg day. So 90-90 abduction. And then I love to do my hip airplanes. Don't neglect the hips, warm ups. All right, team. So I have always started my leg day with the abduction and the abduction machines. Check them out. So the reason why most people just start with a compound movement, which we're going to get to, right, Brownie? You. But I like to kind of just kind of like get the glutes Get the inner thighs, get get the legs, like these two machines. Get your engine revving. Yeah, get the engine say. revving. They always make me feel more stable. Right. And when we train, it's all about stability. All right, this is the star of the show. If you want to build big glutes, you gotta do what? Hip thrust. Hip thrust. Hip thrust, hip thrust is a must. Hip thrust is a must. There's no question about it. Uh, this is the my, my 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 leg my leg days are essentially my glute days. They're very simple. I do like three exercises. You guys saw the abduction warm up. We're gonna spend a lot of time here on the hip thrust. And uh, then we'll do some cable kickouts. That's pretty much it, but I'm gonna break you guys down a little bit more the intricacies. So, first of all, shoes on or off, Brownie? Uh, off for me. Yeah, I like a flat foot. It's too much cushion. I forgot my platform shoes today. Well, the purpose for it, though, y'all, is because you want to drive the weight up through your heel. Yeah. And so if you can't feel the floor because you're wearing some cushy shoes, you just have a tough time activating. So today, in today's workout, we're actually going to be doing short, narrow stands. So knees are hip width apart, knees and feet. And that just gives us, you guys, more maximal glute max contraction. So the wider stance, the more you pull your glute med into the equation. So if you just want the thick, round, large part, the glute max, this is how you'll do it. We're just warming it up here. Lightweight. And then check out the setup, you guys. So at the top of the exercise, the hip should be parallel to the knee, the knee should be parallel to the heel. So that's how you'll know, is you gotta have a straight line there from hip to knee and knee to heel, as mentioned. That looks good. Uh, nice little two second hold at the top. Warming it up. Yeah. Do you know who Tom Plass is? The guy with the giant quads. Biggest legs ever. And he was so famous for this concept of high rep training. And this is something that I've used in my whole career to build big muscles is most people going to the gym like you're thinking like six reps like yeah like you know like three sets of ten I'm reps not, i'm not i'm not Standard. i'm not on strength training but like if you want to like old school bodybuilding is all about the reps 
All yeah. about the reps. As All many as reps. possible. This yeah. is where we started doing 50 rep sets. So we're gonna, you like, guys this know is, this. This is good moderate weight. It's like heavy, but it's not like stupid heavy. And we're gonna get good contractions. And we're gonna get about 25 rep sets, four of them, 100 reps total. <sighs> Don't throw your head back. So that's another tip worth mentioning, you guys. When you're hip thrusting or when you're doing anything really, you want to remember that your cervical spine, the back of the neck, is part of the spine. So if you throw your head back to rest it on the bench during hip thrust, you risk hyperextension and injuring yourself. Isn't that right, Nunzi? So right. You Don't always got five do more. it. You always got five more. You always count in fives. That's what Tom Platts would do. That's Come on. Do. Wow, how do you feel? Ah. Uh-oh. It's all right. Because <laughs> if you're not making noises like that, you're not training that hard. You know what I always say? It's a gym, not a church. Don't shush me. Yeah, if you were out at the gym. <laughs> look, Don't man. shush me. No, no, seriously. Me. If you're one of those people that doesn't like grunting and shit. Like, I understand, but bro, we're in the gym, right? Like, if you're not making some noise, make some noise. Make some noise. So another thing to consider in your workouts is hydration. You can which hear is us so key. Panting. It's so key. And your rest times between sets. Like, this is a very delicate balance and there's so many different opinions on it. But you want to like, because you don't want to, you don't want to take too little, you don't want to take too long, and usually between my exercises, I'm like flexing. Oh, glutes are so pumped. But I'm always kind of. You look like you're smuggling watermelons in your pants. <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> sir. You're banned um, from the produce section again. Well, yeah, I'd say 45 seconds to 90 seconds, somewhere in there. But you don't want to lose the pump. You know, no chit chatting in the gym. Selfies can wait, and uh, all right. Well, stop talking then. Next, just set. a focus. So I'm famous for the sweats. Oh God! Right, but yo, real talk. If you're not sweating, hit the showers, boy. But you didn't sweat, so why do you need to shower? <laughs> Fudge. Fudge it cold. Back to but the But seriously, if you're not sweating. And sweating is a bit genetics, you know, like some people... I actually completely disagree with that. Sweating Whoa. is not indicative of a good workout. Indicative? Everyone shows their strain differently. <laughs> Look at my heart-shaped sweat. Instead of the gym, you should hit the dictionary. Oh, <laughs> Need um, some ointment for that burn? <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of it today. So we are on uh, the fifth set here. I'll usually do about eight sets. Maybe 20, 25 reps. So, yeah, man, a lot of volume on one exercise that works well, but my execution is is high. You can tell from all the sweat. Yeah. It's like, science. If you don't know how to live properly, <laughs> go scroll down my feed. Join Nunzi Coaching. Yeah, plug. Really, at the end of the day, that's how you learn. But anyway, observe. <sighs> Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Visualize the set. I thought you were going to say, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. No, visualize the set. I always do it. I've already got the 30 reps. Oh. I've already done the 30 reps before I've even started. You mm. already are. That's the, that's the law of attraction, homie. I am that I am. What you think about is what you become. What you feel is what you attract. What you imagine is what you create. Think about that. Create it. Oh, ten. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. And 
five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Squirtle. And that's a 30 rep finisher. Wee, wee, wee. Visualize. Conceptualize, prioritize. So there was a quote said by Arnold. You all know who Arnold is. Who's that? Resonated with me. He said that he could go into the gym and do one set and get more out of that one set than a homie and his entire workout. So I love to train with one set mentality. After we hit our hip thrusts, I'm doing one, one on the reverse, but we're gonna go. We're gonna put it all out there. All right, let's go. One set, let's go. How many reps was that, 30? Yeah. Did you count? Count by fives? Oh, Say something to the camera. We want to know. So, we uh, done the compound movement, hip lifts, check, great sets, eight sets, good volume, high reps. Now we're doing the second. Uh, now we're doing the second exercise of the day, not including the abduction warm up. And of course, it's the cable kickouts. So, I hit my max. And then I hit my me. Ain't that complicated. Of course, you guys, the one and only. You gotta join the Peach Nation Commission. It is unbelievable. Let's guys, go. trust me, trust me. Um, but what we do here at Nunzi World, Nunzi Corp, LTD, is what we call this is the step over. Ink. So, <laughs> this is the best kickback. Variation. And I actually love like if you can if you can not a standard kickback, but a step over. A dual stack that's unoccupied, it's dope because I like gold. to brace gold. Like, I'll brace myself in the stack. So yeah. So like, check it. This. Yeah. Stable environment for a very isolated movement. There we go. So you can see it's the opposite leg, the one that's further away from the cable. The other leg's doing plenty of work too, team, in the supporting of the entire body. Don't be surprised when both glutes are burning. Oh, God. Burning. And it's a small motion. You're really just hitting that meat. I see people do these cable kickbacks. It's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? They're lightheaded. Need some smelling salts over here. <laughs> Got my smell on my own smelling salts. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, kick it. Yeah, pretty small, pretty isolated. What you don't want to do is kick ultra high so that you bend your back. It's, it's all about the reps. Dum dum da da dum dum da da dum dum da da dum dum. Hey Nunzi, how long should your workouts be? I'll tell you this. All day. I don't like that question, but because like, yo, you can get like these, these, these CrossFit dudes, like 10 minute workout you're spent, but realistically right. 90 minutes should not go longer than that. Yeah. Like for real. I'm getting pretty spent, but I always finish every leg day because I love my hip thrusting so much. I don't do squats too. Are you yawning? Yeah. Sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> Jeez, <you should. laughs> um, they can't see me. So I always end off with one goblet squat, 50 reps. Brownie's gonna count them. And we're not gonna film all 50. We'll film all 50 actually, because it'll, well, it'll make me do it. Yeah, otherwise you didn't do it if you didn't film it. I'm gonna go right. Where should I go? Uh, the, 
We well, don't block people yeah, here. you're obstructing here, traffic. Go over there, Bray. All right, let's go. Count them up. Ready? Yeah. Too early, start again. Start again. So there you have it, guys. Check out the swath. That is a uh, typical standard Nunzi glute leg day. And uh, simple but effective, and that's what works. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you you follow to learn more. And uh, which which way do we go? Time for some protein. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> The effects of leg day. All right, walk it off, walk it off.